the lazy girl era. Everyone talks about it, but what is it? I looked it up on Urban Dictionary and the results were <laughs> questionable. Yeah. Wait, less than PG. Today we're gonna tackle it. So here's how to navigate your lazy girl era exit. The time is now. It's here, it is, it is the here now. My kid is like, what are you, what are you doing mom? So I had a moment, right, okay? I had a moment, but it wasn't just like a small moment. It was a hot minute, okay? For like probably two weeks, I was just in a slump. I wanted to stay in bed. I didn't want to get up. I didn't want to move. I didn't want to do anything. So then I came to this revelation and I was like, what the fuck am I doing? What am I doing with my time? What am I doing with my days? Like, why have I worn the same sweatpants three days in a row at this point? I have a kid, so already right there, my time is like cut in half. Actually, it's not even cut in half. It's like my kid gets 80% of my time and I get 20% of my time. But all of a sudden I blinked and now it's May and I'm like, uh, what did I do? What did I, what have I done this year? I had so many goals I wanted to reach at the beginning of 2024. And then I realized like, hello, the year is going by so fast. Soon we're gonna be half over with 2024. If you're coming to this video, you are like how I was, okay? Me and you, we were the same. You wanna exit your lazy girl era and I did exit my lazy girl era. Well, I think I did. But babe, we were the same, okay? I was you, you are what I was. So today I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help you get through this. We're gonna get through this together. Step one, stop saying that you're lazy. If you tell yourself you're lazy, mm, odds are you are going to like inherently become lazy because subconsciously you're like saying it so your brain is like, yeah girl, you're lazy. I'm a firm believer in the law of attraction. I truly believe that whatever you put out into the universe, you are going to receive back, whether it's intentionally or just like subconsciously. I have this little journal of like intent, I guess you could call it. Every morning, I sit there with my sage, my crystals, and my matcha. And I journal. I set out some good energy for the day. I get my day started right. I like to write down three things that I'm thankful for, three things that I can work on, but not like goals that I need to accomplish, but more so like internal things of like not wanting to use any negative self-talk for the day. Just things like that that are more so like self-help related not so much like i need to get this done <laughs> and then at the very bottom i write down three manifestations or like three long-term goals well it can be short-term too but like i like to do the long-term stuff it keeps me grounded it keeps me motivated it keeps me from being lazy if you want your life to look a certain way and you know you have a list of changes that you need to make but you try to like implement those changes all in one single day you're gonna get overwhelmed you're gonna crash and burn it's not gonna go well you can make a list so that you can visualize like everything that you want to like work towards and what you want every little small step to be maybe implement one change for one week and when you feel comfortable and confident in that one change move on to the next week do a second change third week do a third change and slowly you'll realize that your life is changing just like slowly. My therapist told me something that really resonated with me because I'm definitely a person that is like all or nothing. I wanna do everything right now in this moment. I want it all done. And she told me that every day, all you have to do is even just 1% better. Like as long as you do something that is 1% better, you are making progress. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna write out your goals, okay? Write out every single thing that you want to accomplish. And it can be the most like smallest little things. Like I wanna wake up at 6 a.m. every day. Then you're gonna go to Pinterest, okay? I love Pinterest. I'm a for Pinterest. When you go to Pinterest, make a board and then save a bunch of pictures related to what you're working towards on that board. We can forget so quick what we are working towards. So it's good to have that visual reminder. That's what motivates me. If you wanna take it a step forward, you can take screenshots, create like a little vision board that's digital. And then you can put that as your screensaver on your laptop that's what I do. Something that also really helps me stay on track is creating a routine and trying to at least stick to the routine. I have alarms that I set up in the morning. Do I actually wake up for all of them? No the f I don't. Do you need a crazy pillow? You need a crazy pillow? Howdy. I think you're like, let me, let me prop this up. I look nuts. Okay. It's 9.26. <laughs> I'm expecting a phone call in like four minutes, so if I if I get that phone call, I'm gonna have to hang this up. Eat your veggies. Eat your veggie straws. Did you just shake your head no at me? The best way to get out of your lazy girl era is to get, <laughs> get out of your lazy girl era by getting a routine. Every single morning, me and this little boy, we make breakfast. Get a routine, okay? Get a routine and stick to it. Do I always have the same routine? No. I wish I could wake up at six in the morning. It's 9.30. I wish I could wake up earlier, but it just doesn't happen. Sometimes I, I wanna know what goes on in this kid's brain. Do you wanna hold it? You don't like the feeling, do you? No, the straw's off limits. But you can touch this part. Condensation. 
think? Yum yum. Yum yum. Yum yum. Oh, I love you too. You just wanted my glasses. Having a routine definitely helped me maximize my day. Even if it's something as small as printing out a checklist. And if you don't finish everything on the checklist, that is totally okay. But it's the effort, it's the being conscious of like what you're doing, when you're doing it. You can also block out time for like when you want certain things to be done. Wow, is it me looking, looking crazy again? When you're thinking about exiting your lazy girl era. You also need to think about what you're consuming. Not just like food wise, because I feel like when we think of consumption, we only think of it being like what you're eating. I mean, of course, if you're eating hot Cheetos every single day, you're probably gonna wanna be lazy. So definitely just eating healthy and eating right. A lot of people think that it's like impossible to eat healthy when you're like on a budget. Eating healthy is seen as something that is so expensive, but it really doesn't have to be. There's just small substitutions that you can make instead of getting fresh vegetables just get frozen vegetables i don't know why people are against frozen vegetables when they literally are the same there's just little substitutions that you can do also if you buy your meat in bulk and you also buy it frozen it's a lot cheaper what, what are you what are you doing i could do a whole separate video on like how to grocery shop for like cheap and stuff maybe i'll do that because that's another thing i'm really passionate about but when you think of consumption it's not just what you're eating what are you watching what are you spending time investing your eyeballs in does that even make sense if you're watching things that just don't make you feel good like duh you're gonna feel lazy duh you're not gonna want to do shit there are a lot of shows that I had to personally stop watching because they would just make me so mad. For example, The Maid. I had to stop watching that show because it made me so angry. It was a great show. It was phenomenal. It had me hooked. But oh my God, it just made me so mad. And the thing is, it's not even like a real show. So like, why do I get so heated about it? I, I do not even know. I don't know. That's probably something I need to unpack in my therapy. If you are not watching things that help you like grow as a person or just things that make you feel good if a cartoon makes you feel good it makes you laugh then it's okay to watch a cartoon now that i'm a mom the number one thing i hear is screen time screen time screen time like watch what your kids are consuming on the screen i'm definitely not a stickler about screen time my kid can watch tv i'm totally okay with that if you think of yourself as like a toddler and you're a sponge which kind of sounds weird because like we're adults it might be easier to be conscious of what you're consuming of course things are fine in moderation but if every day you're consuming something that just like is not making you feel good it's not impacting you positively like hello what do you expect is gonna happen hopefully this resonated with you i hope you guys try to take these tips and implement them into your life hopefully they can get you out of your lazy girl era i'm gonna leave all my social media down below you can also see it on the screen if you guys like the video be sure to go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this one <laughs> and that's it <laughs> that's all i got so goodbye <laughs>